I'm Anil Kumar and here is a question from my student. We'll need to evaluate a power with rational exponent. Now in this case the exponent is given in decimal numbers and that makes things very difficult. Let's rewrite the question. We need to find what is 81 to the power of minus 0 0.75. Now minus means uh, 1 over 81 that means reciprocal to the power of 0 0.75 so first step is clear now let us understand what is 0 0.75 equals to we can convert that to fractions so I could write this as 7 over 100 right and then simplify this dividing by 25 we get 3 over 4 now it becomes a rational exponent and kind of easier for us to understand so we'll use instead of 0 0.75 1 over 81 to the power of 3 over 4. So now we have to simplify this. So first thing is rewrite like this. Now, now you have two choices. Choice number one for you is that you could do, let me write like this, you could do 1 over 81. First you could find the fourth root, right? And then you could cube it. This is first choice. The second choice could be, you could first find cube of the number, right? And then find the fourth root. Both are correct. So you could follow any method to further solve it. Both are correct. But I prefer this method, so this is better. Since we will involve smaller numbers to calculate, and we don't really need a calculator to work this out. So I'll, after this step, follow this. So basically, now we'll go from 1 over 81 to the power of 3 over 4. And I'm saying that first we'll find the fourth root of this, which I could write like this, or I could also write fourth root of 1 over 81. But these are different ways of writing the same thing within exponent of 3. Got the idea. Now, fourth root of 81 is, we you know, square root is 9, and square root of 9 is? 3. So it is 3. So 1 over 3 whole cube, correct? 81 is in the denominator, so 3 comes in the denominator. And now cube of 3 is 27, so 27 comes in the denominator. So our solution is 81 to the power of minus 0 0.75 is indeed equals to 1 over 27, right? So that is how you could solve it. Using calculator, you can check your solution with the other form also. Both will give you always the same answer, right? I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.